What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with uh, Brian. And today we're going to be doing something a little different normally that I don't really do. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about like how me and this guy met, you know, all the way from back in middle school. And just talking like through all the years of like some funny shit that's happened. And the way how we met was kind of funny. So, alright, you can tell them what happened <laughs> from like how we first met and then just go on from there. Well, hello guys. Uh, he's already introduced me. I'm Brian. Who's your normal uh, voice? A lot of my friends call me awesome though. You're doing your accent again. <laughs> yes, yes I am. So, the way we met wasn't very traditional. It, um, I actually threw a Jenga brick at his head. I hit him in the back of the head. And we both got detention for getting in a fight. And that's really where our friendship started, was middle school detention. <laughs> After that, we've always been really close friends. So here are some of the wackiest, craziest, funniest stories from our crazy ass friendship. Yeah. You can take the next story if you wish. So... Uh, I was at lunch one day, we were having some nachos, and I got, like, nachos, right? And, uh, I was sitting down, and, uh, he comes up behind me. I have, like, my nachos on, like, the table or something, or I was holding it. You were holding them. I was holding it, and he comes up, smacks my face right into the nachos, and I had, like, nacho cheese everywhere, and I set it down, and I started probably, like, chasing you. Let me tell you, our teacher, uh, or our our school's disciplinary officer, as she would like to call herself, we just called her Satan, which was a very fitting title. <laughs> yeah, well, not now. I mean, she's a lot more nicer. Yeah, well, she's a lot nicer now that she's not busting our asses over every little thing we did. She came by and she's like, "Did you? Did you?" So there we go, another lunch station scenario. And here, another thing that I don't know if this was a detention scenario type of thing, but um, we uh, we were having lunch again. There was a day where we were having lunch, and he comes up with a plate of fucking ranch, like literally a mountain of ranch, and just smacks it on the back of my head or in my face. Oh, it was right in your face. So a great way to picture this, if you're in school... Is you know how the paper plates that you get with your pizza, uh, either they're plates or they're the little boats, but school pizza doesn't taste good at all unless you coat it in ranch. Yeah. And true. everyone knows this little glitch. So I decided to get my pizza, I filled it with ranch, ate the pizza. I'm like, well, now I have this pretty full container of bloody ranch. So I'm like, huh, Josh has his guard down. Why don't we go give him a little present? So, there we go. <clears throat> Walked right up to him and smacked him in the face. And then I think that, wasn't that another detention? Or was that just us being retards? That was us just being retards. I think that was the day that Miss Totti was out. No, she was somewhere because, else. She was up in a classroom at Yeah, she point. was somewhere else dealing with someone else's bullshit. <laughs> And here we are in the lunchroom throwing ranch at each other. What else is going? And then there was a time where you had a burp coming up and you went behind the stage, behind the curtains, and you just let out this god-awful burp. Oh, and, yeah. and then So it was open mic day. So it was for karaoke and everything like that. And I woke up to the guy and I said, I'd like to request a song. It's called My Massive Thoughts. And it's actually... A song. It's like a three-second song that says, oh, I've got the massive burp. And then the whole point is the burp right after. Well, they didn't turn the volume down when I got up there. So I get up there. Song plays for three seconds. And that was god-awful, elephant-sized, humongous burp. It was more and like a gorilla. A, a gorilla burp, whatever the hell you want to call it. 
School lunch rooms are fairly large. And after I burped, just dead silence. Just absolute quiet. And do you know how long it was quiet? It was quiet for about a solid 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds of solid silence. You could hear your heartbeat. It was that silent. It was just... And did we get... Did you get in trouble from that? Oh, I got into a shit ton of trouble from that. Almost everyone gets in trouble in middle school for the stupidest shit ever. Alright, do you remember anything else in... Middle school, like uh, six, besides the so sixth grade year. So, in Mr. Druby's class, this oh, was sixth grade year. Our science teacher, here we go. Our science teacher was hosting a class and it was pretty boring. We, it was always kind of a snooze fest. <laughs> so, what happened was we were passing notes in class and we threw them in the recycle bin. Well, the only thing was was that here comes the dog the only thing was was we tried to frame another student for it you except are. we forgot to erase our names from the notes themselves so we didn't get away with it we actually got two weeks of lunch attention for it no we got like sent home I believe didn't we? I mean, no we had our parents called yeah the parents were called but we were just giving two weeks of lush attention. It was fucking ridiculous. We should have ripped up the note, actually. Yeah, we should have ripped like up. Just ripped it yeah, up. Yeah, we should have just ripped it up. <laughs> <laughs> Stinking dog, jeez. We should have ripped it up and thrown it in the recycling. But no, we were too stupid. I had to fix the angle. So, that was all from middle school. Well... There was seventh grade when we introduced Brandon, remember? But Oh, no. yeah, Brandon Tuttle. He was a pretty good friend in the start, but as obviously that will come into play a little later. I feel like we should kind of like have this video like not just about what we did, but like what we've just been through. Yeah, that's basically what it is though. You know, but we just started out with, you know, how we met. How we met and then everything. And then just now progressing through so, our so other school sixth years. grade. That was our sixth grade that we were talking this about. This man had the biggest crush was one girl named Kennedy named yeah. Kennedy here we go that's gonna be embarrassing he always had me go up to her I kept on asking this dude to go up to her to get her to me I don't know why but I was just a little I was a pussy he was back such then. a little bitch was... he couldn't go and confess his little little heart he love yeah I was a pussy I... yes yes you were so, 7th grade rolls around, and that was actually a fairly decent year for all of us. Actually, that was 6th grade. I, uh, had, I still had long hair back then. He, yes, he had, ne he had long hair, hair down, those, down past his shoulders. Yeah. Ooh. And the funniest thing was, we had science class together. And the first thing I asked was... Does that, uh, so our teacher was explaining the labs, and I look at you and I go, because we are friends at this point, and I go, does that mean Kelly has to put his hair up in a ponytail? Oh my god. And the teacher goes, yep, it's past his shoulder, so I'll have to put it up. Sadly, I don't have that picture from when you did have it in a ponytail. I mean, just find your, uh. You looked like a fucking pin. Just find your yearbook and you can just take it out. But Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go look for those things. <laughs> but that'll be for another day where See? where um, I can probably do like a separate video on like doing my from my fourth grade all the way to like my senior year or whatever. But um, his history with long hair was infamous. I didn't start doing that until like late fifth grade into oh, like the yeah. summertime. But lasted him all the way up till junior year. Well, I didn't have long, long hair until my junior year, but I had hair down to here at least. But, um, down my my mid-neck. You look like the winter soldier <laughs> from, from a side view. 
Yeah, but um, let's see what else besides Kennedy. Um, so I think that was really it. I didn't really have a crush back in this year. Well, I didn't. In, in, okay, so what what was all in like for uh, Cavalero? Eighth grade, oh. eighth and ninth grade year. We got <laughs> we introduced it more friends back then. Yeah, we did. So. I guess I did have a crush for the longest time on this girl named Scarlett. I introduced you to her because I knew her from my history class with Mr. Fountain. And so no, I... No, I knew her. No, I introduced you. Second grade birthday party. I chased her around with water balloons. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know about that, but okay. So, that's another story that he'll have to tell. <laughs>